तथा साविम विस्मयाविष्टो हृष्टरो धनंजय प्रणम्या शिसा दृतांजलि अभाषता Then bewildered and astonished, his hair standing on end, Arjuna began to pray with folded hand, offering obeisances to the Supreme Lord. So, how to understand this? So, there are different relationships. What are the different relationships? Shanta, Dasya, Sakya, Vasalya, Madhurya. And Arjuna, what is the relation with Krishna? Sakya. Apart from these five primary relations, there are seven secondary relationships. These seven secondary are not permanent, but sometimes cover these five primary. Just like Bhishma, actually relations like a Dasya to Narayana, but the chivalry is one which he is having in the war time that sometimes covers. You understand? Sometimes it covers your primary relationship. So Prabhupada is analyzing Arjuna's situation. He is saying Arjuna's primary relation to Krishna is Sakya, but presently it is getting covered by Adbhuta, wonder. He is wonderstruck by seeing the opulence of Krishna. So actually, that's true. Because the friendship, uh, if you are very much aware of the opulence of your friend. then your intimacy will be lost and this is will give a contradictory emotions within arjuna what is it called rasa bhasa hmm. rasa bhasa just like nobody will uh, invite his father to join his facebook <laughs> because of rasa bhasa he is sharing among friends his father comes there it will not make a matching correct it doesn't match the rasa different rasas you cannot make two rasas mix it would become so unpalatable therefore the glorification of the lord prayers of the lord are carefully written by the great devotees because there is no rasa bhasa there you understand rasa bhasa is very sublime subject matter so universal form is being presented to arjuna why is it we show to arjuna because of a request by arjuna so that arjuna wishes everybody knows krishna they know the they know krishna is so special at the same time when krishna displays the vishrupa it is uh, for because it displays such kind of power that such kind of uh, energy opulence that arjuna is himself is wonder struck Right? It's like you tell your friend. You know your friend is a great weightlifter. If you tell somebody, I just show, or you say, you know your friend is a scholar. So you tell people, I recite recite some shloka, and your friend recites the whole Gita extempore. You are newly wonder struck. What's happening? So similarly, Arjuna was also wonder struck that when uh, opulence was displayed by Krishna, and this kind of opulence nobody can display. कृष्ण से इज इन द भगवद गीता भोक्ता राम यज्ञ तपसाम सर्वलोक महेश्वरम आई एम ओनर ऑफ द ऑल द प्लान सिस्टम्स एंड कृष्ण शोर इट एंड अर्जुन इज लाइक कंप्लीटली वंडर स्ट्रक बाय सीइंग दिस ऑपुलेंस ऑफ कृष्ण ठीक है सो दिस इज व्हाट इज हैपनिंग हेयर एंड देर आर ऑल अदर पीपल हेयर इन द बैटल दे कान सी मे बी सम पीपल कुड सी होम कृष्ण अलाउड टू सी therefore seeing the opulence of krishna or seeing different uh, features of krishna requires a revelation you know generally in a metal world you have a microscope you are trying to see something there is nothing personal about it isn't it if you see i can also see but spiritual life things become very very personal some people are allowed to see some people are not allowed to see Duryodhana could not see Vishrupa. Arjuna is seeing Vishrupa. Then Vedavyasa is seeing. His disciple Sanjay is seeing, and in relating to Dhritarashtra, 
is trying to explain so it's a uh, krishna's kindness to whom he want to reveal his opulence and uh, krishna's opulence is uh, unlimited and more and more krishna's opulence krishna's greatness krishna's beauty krishna's qualities are manifest in the heart more and more we become devoted you understand this more and more it is revealed it's like we all say jay prabhupa jay prabhupa that's okay but more and more it is revealed more and more with heart you say that correct okay? now we are doing like a sadhana but the more the speciality is revealed then more and more it becomes natural similarly the more and more krishna's qualities krishna's opulence is revealed to the devotee as he offering devotion service uh, अतः श्री कृष्ण नामादि न भवेद ग्राह्य इंद्रिय सेवोन मुखे जीवादो कृष्ण वेन यू ऑफ अ सर्विस एटीट्यूड कम फॉरवर्ड टू हिम ही स्टार्ट्स रिवीलिंग लाइक कृष्ण रिवील्स फोर्थ चैप्टर व्हाट इज इस से भक्तो असी में सकाचति बिकॉज यू आर माय डिवोटी बिकॉज यू आर माय फ्रेंड नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू रिवील समथिंग टू यू and again and again in every chapter he says arjuna because you are not envious of me i can talk more about to you okay the very fact of service attitude and non envy if these two facts are present uh, then we can understand more and more krishna therefore we associate uh, actually suppose you are envious of somebody that envy can go away if you associate with a person who is not envious we talk to him no no yaar he is not like that why you are saying like that he is not like that he is a very nice person so slowly 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 what happens your picture changes so actually it's a fact all of us are envious of krishna otherwise we would not be here very fact we are wearing the material body it is the proof of our rebellion to the supreme lord that's like a prisoner's dress is a proof of our rebellion to the king so when you look in his sky you can look at what is this made of a metal body correct okay, right? your doubt just cut blood will come spiritual body doesn't have this kind of thing blood so you have query clear this is a metal body anybody has doubt get in a metal body is clear now because we are in metal body means we rebel against krishna we are envious of krishna now when you chant hari krishna when you read bhagavad gita when you associate with devotees when you participate in the sankirtana when you take his remnants we don't take anybody's remnants we take the lord's remnants correct right? when you bow down to the lord gradually as we associate with these elements what happens our envy starts going away therefore prabhupa says uh, all our misgivings go away that is anartha nivritti he defines very nicely once shraddha sadhu sangha in a very personal way shraddha means initial liking for the lord sadhu sangha goes to the devotees who are engaged in his service anartha nivritti with the association of devotees and the holy name by his, his misgivings about the lord go away then he develops firm faith in the service to the lord and he develops great pleasure in service you know that this actually it is personal all the nine stages are we are approaching a personality of god it you got it it's very very personal so as we engage in the process of krishna consciousness what gradually will vanishes our envy for the lord when envy vanishes krishna will reveal proportional to that proportion to the service spirit krishna is revealed and krishna is revealed in the heart then our chanting our glorification of krishna happens from the heart or create acharyas when they glorify they feel great pleasure just like suppose you respect somebody in your life theek okay? hai somebody everybody respect how nicely you talk about him yeah really is a nice person but i say way you will start speaking about krishna because the more and more his glories are manifested to the heart you can spend hours and you feel great pleasure in the bhagavatam when sutta goswami is asked in the first canto by the sage of the nameshaaranya the please speak about krishna is so happy so happy is feeling great pleasure to talk about krishna in the second canto when shukadev goswami is asked to speak about krishna by parikshit maharaj he say variyam eshate prashna kritaloka hitam ratah 
आत्मसंबता पुंसा शूत व्यादेशु यत परा सो नाइस यू वरिया हमेशा थे कि व्हाट क्वेश्चन यू आस यू आस मी टू ग्लोरीफाई कृष्ण सो इवन देर इज वन मोर इंस्टेंस वेन विदुर आस उद्धव कैन यू टेल समथिंग अबाउट कृष्ण उद्धव ऑलमोस्ट फेंटेड ही इज अ वेरी वेरी इंटिमेट सर्वेंट ऑफ द लॉर्ड ही विकेम इन कंप्लीटली नेक्स्ट सी जस्ट थिंकिंग अबाउट ही इज ऑलवेज थिंकिंग अबाउट कृष्ण बट इन मेडिटेटिव मेडिटेशन बिकेम इंटेंस वेन यू हैव टू टॉक अबाउट कृष्ण उद्धव शोड ऑल ट्रांसडेंटल सिम्टम्स एंड नेक्स्ट सी एंड विदुर वॉज इज लुकिंग understood why is such a dear devotee of krishna so actually that's a symptom of a great devotee for us glorification of the lord is a sadhana this is clarified by prahlad maharaj prahlad maharaj says when you make a painting the image of the painting also looks beautiful he says when you decorate your face the, the in the mirror also the reflection looks beautiful agree right? so similarly when you glorify krishna even we become beautiful therefore with all my capacity let me for my own good proper says it is not that by glorifying krishna krishna becomes glorious krishna is always glorious you glorify or not just like a ordinary newspapers can make a campaign an ordinary man can become world famous by two three articles in different newspaper true whole world is oh is very special it's all nowadays every media has everything in his hand he can do anything they can do the make a world person very famous krishna doesn't become glorious because of your propaganda he is already glorious krishna is already glorious but some people recognize that some people do not recognize that prabhu says even for an acharya he said acharya is a guru for the whole world actually he is a genuine jagat guru some people recognize that some people do not recognize that but actually acharya is a guru for the whole world you understand this point it's not that he is he is actually guide but some follow him some obey him some don't obey him some don't follow him it is their choice uh, the same way hey krishna is showing his vishwarupa it is for the benefit in fact these things were not revealed when actually vishwarupa is shown or when narsimha appeared that time what happened all the demons started running in fear similarly when the vishrupa is exhibited when a huge a huge show of light power smell you know multi dimension show it's not just people can't see what's just like it is given an example many time when devatas pray to krishna krishna appears but they can't see him the effulgence is so much they just can't see and they pray to the lord can you remove the effulgence So Krishna, out of His kindness, removes the effulgence so we can see the beautiful face of Krishna. The same way, when the Vishrupa is exhibited with the sigh of sound and all, the demons they can't see the you know the glorious position of Krishna, but by seeing a, uh, hearing that, you know, exhibition about that, they start f- fleeing in fear. That's what Arjuna will say. Everything is nicely happening. <laughs> they all get scared. but they can't see the universal form it's like uh, i can't exactly say how it was manifested but definitely there is like a um, the example is given thousands of suns rising together that of the light of the vishrupa correct and then all the conches are blowing all so many beautiful sounds drums then we can hear the smell the fragrance of the flowers being worn by the lord's various forms manifested there all the devata the manifested in it you know all the adityas all varieties of living entities are manifest it's a unimaginable exhibition and forms are changing past present future is manifesting uh, it is something extraordinary okay and prabhu says in the guru parampara if you also hear you can also see to the degree it is revealed here to that degree we can we cannot add we cannot subtract to certain degree in few verses it is revealed here similarly vishrupa is also explained in the bhagavatam various times so you can all that thing together you can pictureize what is vishrupa it is it is looks like a huge form hmm, uh, in which the the two eyes are the sun and the moon 
uh, they, they, they take that place. The whole universe basically is in that form and all the lower planetary systems are at the fit. Uh, and then the hairs are like the trees and then the mountains, what are the bones? Mountains are like the bones. Then what else is there? Anything else you know about Vishrupa symbolism? Anybody knows anything else? So basically, Vishrupa is a form uh, like that, and it is exhibited. Not that it's imaginary in that sense. Arjuna saw it in front of him, a huge manifestation where all the energies of Krishna were there in one place. Okay, and when K Arjuna saw this kind of a power display, he is getting wonderstruck. And his natural friendship with Krishna is getting disturbed. So it is for us, as I explained, for us it is needed. Because we are so conditioned. We are so much conditioned even to this movement. We get affected when we see any material opulence in anybody. We do get affected. Correct? We get affected. So similarly, it works on us. Presently, as I was explaining, our mind and soul cannot be separated. So subconsciously, when you hear all this thing, you gradually, your devotion to Krishna will increase. See, Krishna knows how to package Bhagavad Gita. It's an expert package for a conditioned soul. When he hears a narration of Bhagavad Gita, he will surrender to Krishna. That is the objective of Bhagavad Gita. Because what happened to Arjuna will, should happen to any hearer, if he is hearing properly. Arjuna heard Bhagavad Gita and he surrendered to Krishna. Arjuna's position is unique. Because it's actually a pure devotee already. Krishna is speaking through Arjuna. Just as Arjuna surrendered, we also, after hearing Bhagavad Gita, will surrender. But it involves different items which have to be done. Correct? Krishna is dealing with the nose. Through Arjuna, he is talking to the conditioned souls. Therefore, there is a display of Krishna's power here. Otherwise, in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna is not lifting weapons or doing anything. He is not lifting mountain, anything. But there is a display of Krishna's power in the form of Vishwarupa. So when somebody hears like that, what happens to him? Gradually understands. Krishna is so great. Huh? That is said that if you un understand, if you analyze the whole philosophy of Lord Chaitanya with your intellect, with your logic, Huve Chamatkara, you will be wonderstruck. So if you analyze even the philosophy of Bhagavad Gita, you will be understand. You know, there is this great Acharyas, they read Bhagavad Gita, they say it is so sweet. All the Acharyas love it. Because it's a unique, what is unique about Bhagavad Gita? It's a unique place where the Lord is explaining Himself. Where do you get it? There are other Gitas also. What are the other Gitas? Bhagavad Gita. There is one more Bhagavad Gita. Uddhava Gita. Where Krishna again explains Himself to Uddhava. That is supposed to be a little more difficult. But Bhagavad Gita is Krishna explaining about himself. It's a unique place uh, where the Krishna has been uh, is ex explaining about himself. And it becomes very authoritative. And all elements are there by reading which anybody, if he hears that you know, with patience, he goes through Bhagavad Gita. What will happen naturally in his heart also, like Arjuna, desire to surrender to Krishna should manifest. Arjuna, what happened when he heard Bhagavad Gita? He developed a desire, let me surrender to Krishna. The same desire will develop. Krishna, I just want to serve you. Okay, so that is the objective of Bhagavad Gita and Vishwarupa is playing a role in that. Shri Prabhupada ki, Bhagavad Gita ki.